So next question is x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x cubed plus x. So as you see, this rational expression, the denominator factor is uh, denominator expression is not factored yet. So the first step, what we do is factoring denominator. Okay, then this becomes x squared plus 5x plus 6 over the common factors x and then x times x squared plus 1. Okay, since x squared plus 1 is not factorable, so that's the complete factoring for this denominator here. Then now we need to make partial fraction for base denominator a and then base on denominator x squared plus 1. Okay, so this one becomes a over x uh, plus. Unfortunately, this is not something square like other question. And when you uh, look at the other question here, then this case, after factoring, you know, this becomes something squares, right? But unfortunately, we cannot utilize uh, this method this time because it is not something square. It just as one expression. No more factorable any, anyway. Therefore, when you write numerator, this one, you must write one less degree expression, which is bx plus c over x squared plus 1. So even though you make break this one using break heart rule here, still bx state anyway. So I may just uh, keep this uh, as expression anyway. Okay, so now I want to reset up this one as x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x times x squared plus 1 equal to a over x plus bx plus c over and then x squared plus 1 and we need to find LCD here. So LCD becomes x times x squared plus 1 here. Now, as we do all the time for this type of question, we multiply LCD for both equation. Then it's going to be x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to a times x squared plus 1 plus bx plus c times x here. So, even though, even though this term, we cannot find any value max that equal to 0. This term, yes we can. So, in this case, if x equal to 0, then there will be 0. So, let x equal to 0. Then this becomes 6 equal to a times 1 plus 0 here. Therefore, we found a equal to 6. Okay. Now, since there's no other value, we can input, input this equation. I'm going to replace 6 into a here and then expand and combine like term. So, now this become x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to 6 times x squared plus 1 plus bx plus c times x now. So let's expand uh, the right side expression. Then this becomes 6x squared plus 6 plus bx squared plus cx. So now just to rewrite using ascending order, I mean descending order, also combine like term, then you can write 6 plus bx squared 
plus cx plus 6 here, that must equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. So it is become 6 actually. Okay, so since the last term, so 6 and 6, they are equal to each other, now we can set up 6 plus b equal to 1 because that coefficient becomes 1 and then c equal to 5. So we found c equal to 5 already here. Now from here, b equal to negative 5. Okay? So we found a equal to 6, b equal to negative 5, and c equal to 5. And then, therefore, we can rewrite that a equal to 6, and then p was negative 5 and c equal to 5. So negative 5 and 5 here. Let me double check. Okay. Therefore, this decomposite function becomes 6 over x plus negative 5x plus 5 over x squared plus 1. That will be the answer. But you want to take the leading term is positive sign. Then this one you can also rewrite that. 6 over x minus 5x minus 5 over x squared plus 1. That also can be the answer as well.